Morning, it's a bit frosty. Update on the car, that's still here. Added a bit of tax to MOT, but no insurance. One of my mates did a little bit of digging around. So naughty, naughty. Um, it did get a bit of hammer though on Instagram yesterday. <laughs> After I posted that up on TikTok. So, um, yeah, I'll take that. I don't think I'll be getting my, my sign paid for, but. If uh, you've got no insurance on your car, you don't want to put your Instagram on it, do you? Just, what are you doing? Anyway, this grass is looking very frosty. Andy's back from Devon. Have you brought a massive here, Andy? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's where they belong down there. <laughs> He's getting back on his new toy. Is it in one piece? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, even after Crawford Tractor Challenge, yeah. it's in one piece. Did you blow the uh, blower? Block it up? Oh, block it up. No, no, no issues with the blower at all, Andy. You had a good Honestly, I had a fantastic weekend. No issues whatsoever. I've got started on the TM. Andy's getting started blowing some straw out. Dream Team's back in action. M should be here uh, soonish, I think. Soonish. Yeah. Morning, M. Morning, Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Business. She had Saturday night away in Lake District with her granddad. Um, I don't know what she was doing. We'll find out in a minute. So Andy and M are blowing some straw into there. Then we'll put some plasterboard on the outside. This outside area here. Andy's done a good job of strawing these guys up. They're all eating now, which is brilliant. If these videos are your sort of thing, then please press that like button and hey, why not subscribe? Um, then you'll get notifications whenever we go live because we often do that through the week and um, you'll see when my videos come out. Don't cost you anything, um, it just helps us out a lot. Business. You have fun at Lake District then? Yeah. What you get up to? Puddle. Puddle? Are you eating dog now? <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> Poor Oti. Mean, good, good. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> First disaster of the day started. My spring has snapped on my chopper bucket. Bugger! I didn't remanufacture that old one. If you remember a few weeks ago, it snapped. I not sorted that out, so we got to get burning tackle out and um, bend a new spring for it. Fantastic! Mondays are great, aren't they? <laughs> so I'll tip all the beat out. Just make the job a bit easier. Oh, look at that, it's flippy flopping around. Brilliant. Then we'll get the spring off, take it from there. What are you say, Em? It has broke, yeah? What we like, eh? So, what we've got to do now is loosen this off so when we do actually get the spring back remanufactured, we can get it back on. Take this pin out, get the spring out. Then, at this end, Em, we'll have to heat it up with the um, burning tackle, pull that out, bend a new hoop around there, and then we can reattach it to that thing. Sound like a plan? Business. Business. Yeah. Andy's going to be happy because we've got a Matty in the yard. Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> RTK as well. You'll love that. There we go. There we go. So, how much do people think it's going to be on this trailer then? Of a barlet? What's the weight? What's it going to be? I'm going to guess 12 and a half ton. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So, I've got it filled up with. The expensive stuff, I'm gonna get another bag in here, and then I can go and do our oilseed rape. Get it growing away from those pigeons. So I've got to our field of oilseed rape. This is where I'm gonna put the fertilizer on today. It's a little bit wet. I've got 
I go up and GPS open so that I can see where my tram lines are if that's difficult. So I map the screen. Got my Amatron box on, so that's all set up to put this pull and um, nitrogen on. Hoping it all works. I've not tried it out yet. Um, I've had the disc spinning. Uh, GPS, I've not sorted that, but um, that'll that should be all right. I'll know what's wrong if there's anything wrong with it. And hopefully the Amatron box works because sometimes these can be a bit temperamental. We had a few issues last year, but hopefully it's sorted. Oh, and Ash has been putting flags out in here, look. Business. It's not too bad around this side of field. As you can see, I go up and GPS is mapping out where I've been. So it shows me what I've done and what I've not done. Which is pretty much all I use it for now. I mean, I could use it to steer, but when it's wet conditions like this, I think it's better to steer it manually. Around the edge here, it's really being hammered. Pigeons have been smashing this. The great thing about this Ag Open GPS is it will tell me, look now, telling me to turn off one of the sections on my fertilizer spreader. Oh, I'm all over the place. So it just helps me take all the guesswork of, oh, should I turn this section off? Should I not? You know, because um, often you just be guessing as to how far um, you are away from your next tram line. So it really, it really helps us out with that. And you don't need to have it as section control because I can just press a button when I see the light come up on the screen. So there we go. So I'm spending pool on at the minute, 34 and a half, I think it is. I don't know if anybody else has this same issue, but um, <laughs> you, I put all the settings in and it always never runs to the settings. It always puts more on. So I had to reduce it by 80%, uh, not by 80%, by 20%, sorry, running at 80%. And um, hopefully that should get me the accurate, you know, the right amount. But ugh, it's proper crap stuff. I don't know why my dad buys it. I hate it. This is a nicer site round here. Nice thick crop. Looking good. So I just got back into the yard and we've got a load of Trafford Gold here. All tipped off. So he's dropped us a load off now. Where are you off to next? Uh, Nick Hayster. Hayster, where's that? Is that a long way away? An hour. An hour? Oh, that's what's the button then. Like Another load of Trafford? No, load of wheat. Load of wheat? Next. Nice. Mm. Nice. And what's this? Is this 500 horsepower, this one? 450. 450. 450 B. He's getting on his way now. Pick that load of wheat up. His old Adam. Gonna get backed up onto Weybridge, we'll weigh him off, and then he can be on his way. Then I can get some dinner, because I'm starving. There we go. We should have got him to do the Crawford Tractor Challenge. <laughs> Says he watches the videos, so uh, we could have got him to do it, couldn't we? On there, wagging edition. Yeah. Em, can I give you some advice with that? A metal one, maybe. A metal one, maybe. Yeah. Like plastic shovel, it, it ain't really the one. I want to this job to start off with. Oh, you've just migrated onto it. Yeah. All right then. I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Just filled it up again, so I'm off now to just finish off that rape and um, go and do some barley that we've got. I think Ash has made a good job with these flags, really. So that he's just made them out of bits of sticks that he's found in edge. Working well. It was a little bit wet in that field. I wonder if you can tell. Time to uh, remove these barriers. Put a, um, a strap on them and just pull them back. Hopefully I can pull them out of the way just enough. I think that'll do. It'll be a lot simpler to uh, do it with JCB, but it's a fair way to come out just to uh, move two, two blocks. So here we are in my field of barley, um, which yeah, it could do with its nitrogen, it's going to be yellow. 
So we'll slap this on, see how it goes. Looks like we've got a few wild oats coming in here. So I'll have to wait for the economist and see what we can do uh, to spray those off. Thought I'd use my GPS to steer it downfield, didn't I? Keep pressing my button, it's not working. I remembered I had PTO switch out, so that must have knackered it. Yeah, there should be another wire next to that yellow one. Mind the white one, that's my phone charger. Oh, so I've got a fixing job, on it. Do you like my switch anyway? GPS business. I've also worked out the aircon has something so weird. It's not working and it's getting quite hot in here, so I'm going to have the windows open, which is lovely. We have an aircon on, you know what I mean? So I managed to actually jam the wire back up inside the switch. So now, steering hands free. It's always good. In fact, let me put it on that one so you can tell what's happening. But to be honest, I still prefer to steer when it's doing something like this because when it gets wet and it pulls it just off the tram line, um, the GPS wants to go straight all the time, so it's trying to pull it back on. And sometimes uh, you just need that manual input just to think, well, actually, we'll just go off a little bit um, just to get back into the drive. But it does make life easy. So I'm just having a look now just to make sure that the spread um, of the fertilizer looks fairly even. And it does, it doesn't look to be doing a bad job really. Let's check it on that. And there she is, a 6'9 beast in a mucky working clothes. Oh, it's nice when it gets to spring and we can get out in the fields and get some work done. Can't beat it. Well, I bang this stuff, but still stuck together. This urea stuff. We'll get a nice rock like that. I'll get some welly. Andy's just in the background there. He's fetching me a few more bags. He's just banging them a bit because um, earlier, you know, when they had that big clump in there, if we just bang the bags a little bit, it should break them up and hopefully that shouldn't happen again. Get it pushed in there, and then I'm gonna do the wheat that's at the side of the farm, um, cause that's nice and easy to do. And anything that's left over, we've just got somewhere else to uh, get rid of it. That sun is lovely. Not, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lovely straight line. No, oh, no, you can't, there's no wind, there's a muck in. Yeah, I don't need GPS or auto steer, cause I've got ash. Ash steer, ash steer. Packed, but Amazon spread it in the shed now. I had a little issue with one of the front tires going down, um, so I'm not going to do any more tonight. I think I fixed it, but if I go out, I've got um, quite a distance to go, and I think if it goes again and goes down on me, it's going to be like in middle at night, and I'm going to be in a big load of trouble. But um, yeah, remember if you've liked our stuff, guys hit that um, like and that subscribe button. Really, really, honestly does help us out. And um, yeah, get ready for tomorrow when uh, I'll be out with the spreader yet again, keeping busy. Uh, Ash will be busy working on the lorries, so he might pop in maybe later on in the day. Um, you'll not miss him, because you can't miss him in this attire. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks. See you later. Bye.